Hello Gemini, this is a video for, this is a February reading for Gemini, Sun Moon Rising, uh, this is a monthly overview, so let's take a look right now, one more, so Gemini, three of swords, Oof, two of swords, three of cups, oh my god, six of wands, magician, the high priestess, alright Gemini, what's going on? Alright, gem, gem, gems, my beautiful gems. Let's say, give me a second. What is going on? What has happened recently? All right, but I do see right now that there's some sort of a victory going on. Whatever this is for you, it could be with a fire sign, or there can be a fire sign that came into your life recently. But I'm getting, in the recent past, the way you entered the month of February with was... You know, you were an, you were kind of like blocking the view to see that there's a third party going on, that there is somebody else. If this is a relationship, you know, you were just refusing to see what the Three of Swords is about. If somebody broke your heart or acted like an asshole, you were just like, no, 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 no. There has to be underlying reasons for this. You were just trying to, you know, kind of find an excuse for their behavior. But I'm getting that. A lot of you are moving on from this person, from their energy, with a six of wands here. And some of you may have blocked this person or just like canceled them out of your life or something like this. But the energy in the month of February seems amazing. So first we got theme, the magician. Guys, it's time to do your magic. It's time to work your... Work with your skills. Work on your embetterment of yourselves. I feel like for some of you, this could be connected with education or uh, intuition, heightening intuition, spiritual awareness. Um, you know, perhaps something that you secretly were hoping for, uh, not hoping for, but something that you secretly are dreaming of to do. I feel like throughout the month of February, you should be focusing your energy and effort towards this. Because then this way, I mean, energy is going to pay off with the magician here. And you're going to be taking new opportunities. You're going to be taking new path, whatever this fool is for you, all right? You're going to be more, um, how do you say this? You're going to be more kind of like, uh, you're going to be less restrictive. You're going to be more adventurous. You're going to be taking things into the hands of the universe. You're not going to be any more like, you know, I can't do this. I'm not sure if I can do this. I'm not sure if I can get this job. I'm not sure if I can get a job because you are carrying the energy of the magician throughout the month of, of February because you are supposed to manifest whatever you're supposed to manifest right now. Maybe the healing from this past heartbreak and you're not really sharing this with anyone. You're really keeping things to yourself throughout the month. And I'm seeing that in your environment, there is an Aries that is important to this situation. There is an Aries here that is very, very important for this vitality, for this action taking, for this growth. But uh, be careful if this is the three of swords person, if this is the energy of somebody who broke your heart or somebody who had a, gave you this third party thing. We have the queen, of, you know, it's like there's a devil's lurking, guys. Devil's always lurking with the third parties. It's possible, you know, things can come back around the same way they were. Um, what you need to overcome is the indecisiveness, the fear of making the final call to cut somebody out of your life, the fear to, you know, do things your way, the fear to manifest whatever this is you're feeling right now, so I feel like you're feeling supercharged. You're feeling like things are getting better. Things are getting 
you know, victoriously for you, but throughout the month, you know, there's just going to be too much focus on somebody else while you should be focusing on yourself because I see that there <clears throat> around the end of the month, there's going to be an offer. This is for me connected with work here from an earth sign or to, uh, if this is love from an earth sign, if this is work, this is a new job position that you've been waiting for that you've been waiting for to manifest, that you're going to be manifesting it. This is very important for your further growth. And this person, this three of swords energy is somebody that has to be cut off. That's the judgment here. That's where the judgment shows up. It never shows up by accident, guys. I mean, those of you who are in happy relationships, that's then, you know, this three of swords energy is not for you. It's just about healing from whatever difficult period you've had behind because now things are changing. The magician. And I'm sensing a lot of Aries energy here. So if you have an Aries that you could be involved with, uh, pay attention this month to them. They might be hiding a secret. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, so we got the thought. I told you. Manifesting what you thought it was impossible. Manifesting what you thought it was limiting factor. It's no longer putting you in this shadow of like, oh, I don't know if I can do it. Yes, you can, and you will do it. You will manifest it. I'm telling you here now. <clears throat> but please be, be careful of this Queen of Wands. This can be a person you know from your workplace, from your school, especially education I'm getting here. But um, Geminis, those of you who do study right now, uh, uh, focus more on work and less on other people because there's something big and major about to happen here and I'm not sure what it is but I'm sensing that something amazing that you've been waiting for creative job possibly I don't know what you're <clears throat> let the feminine lead the way be guided be guided guys let's see 30 mm -hmm. so this is the card let the feminine lead the way right let me read it. <clears throat> you have been feeling or sensing... Uh, wait, wait, I'm sorry. Uh, this oracle brings confirmation to you that what you have been feeling or sensing, even without any logic or physical evidence, is worth following up on. All right? Trust your senses over appearances. Trust your intuition over your intellect. Your being feminine wisdom... Uh, you are letting feminine wisdom guide you, and she will steer you in the best direction. All right? So male, female, doesn't matter who you are. You just, you know, allow yourself to follow your intuition. Allow yourself to follow what is it that is truly for you. What is this path for you, right? Don't be scared to take action. Don't be scared to, to allow the past heartbreak to heal. Allow the, you know, leave the troubles behind, basically. All right? So, Gemini. Sun, moon, rising, love. Love Oracle for Gemini, for Sun, Moon, Rising, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, February. Separation, yeah, I told you. Some of you need to spend time away from your partner. Uh, you see that they're holding hands here, but there's angels are still there. Angels are up there. I feel like it's time for a break for a little bit because you need to focus on yourself or, you know, whatever the situation is. I'm feeling like... There is a need to be independent in the relationship. I don't feel like there's codependency here. I'm just feeling like, oh. All right. So what's going on here is that some of you, you, oof. there's going to be an agreement with the partner. Because we have here the Ace of Cups. The five of wands, this is basically, you know, if there was a third party in the past, I feel like third party energy is gone. And there's going to be a new opportunity to renew this energy. There's going to be a heart to heart conversation here. The two of wands is about opening up to each other, honestly. Because this person, you know, they regret things. They regret their behavior in the past. They regret that they put you in a third party in the first place because you see this one is standing here being all sad, you know, over the past. And we have three of cups here. They were intimate with somebody else. And, you know, I feel like it's going to go 
into the direction where there's going to be an honest conversation. Like, listen, I need some time off. I need to... Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. This is the overpowering energy. Um, listen, I need some time off here. I really need to focus on myself right now. And I know that you had somebody else in the past. And I'm not ready to take a leap of faith into this right now. And this is fine. I'm feeling they're going to be very... They're still in their heads. Very, very... Mentally burdening energy. All right, but let's take a look. Oof, all right. The Knight of Cups. I told you, they're going to come in. There could be water sign here also. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, but somebody's going to come in. This is somebody from your past. Somebody that you dealt with. This is the Three of Swords person that I was talking about. They're going to come back in. But it, I feel like for many of you, it's smarter not to get involved with this right now. Because you need to be focusing on yourselves. Let's see, but what's this? Give me one more card here for Gemini. And then here, Nine of Pentacles. There can be all, I told you, Earth sign, Virgo. So you're dealing with a Virgo. Um, if you're dealing with a Virgo, this person is very slow, but they're like overthinking things. I mean, typical Virgo energy, right? Um, somebody's just taking a lot of time. And, you know, they could be uncertain if this is the right thing to do. And that's why there's a lot of overthinking. There's a lot of mental stagnancy. And there's a lot of unresolved issues. And we have the hangman here also. This person is like, I don't know which energy is you. Whatever you relate to more, right? But I feel like if this is you, you feel like you're tied and bound to the situation. Like there's nothing else to be connected to right now. But you're feeling like tied to it. You see here that there is this um, um, kind of like a voodoo dolls who are tied together. You feel like there's still karma in this, but I'm telling you that there is no more karma. Because you close, something was closed and now after time apart, it's, if this hasn't happened already, this separation, it's going to be happening throughout the month of February because you need some time by yourself you need some time on your own and give me one more for the knight of cups here queen of pentacles i'm telling you some of you are definitely dealing with an earth sign virgo taurus capricorn but this can also be your energy where you're just like kind of like cold and you're not really taking the offer you're just pretending like you know I don't care. This is all me, 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 me right now. But this is good because you need to be focusing on the earthly matters. Queen of Pentacles, she's focused, grounded. She stays, you know, she stays focused on things that are important right now. Because you know that there's going to be love here. You feel love here, but not right now. I feel like the timing is just not right. Uh, even if you're single or if you're coupled and you resonate with this, it, it works for both, right? All right. So uh, I hope this made some sense. <laughs> and thank you guys so much for watching. See you soon. Bye.